Welcome to the module on Project Baselines of Primavera P6. Get ready in this course to explore the baselining features of Primavera P6 in detail. Let me start by discussing baselines in terms of construction and engineering projects. Moving forward, when you hear me say the word baseline, I'll be referring to the baseline schedule. The word baseline on its own can have lots of different meanings but a little bit more on that later. Typically, at the onset of a construction project, the contractor has to deliver an initial schedule to the owner. Once that initial schedule is approved by the owner, it becomes the baseline schedule, and it's used going forward as a basis for evaluating progress on the project. But what is a baseline? Well, let's go to the AACE for their definition. According to them, a baseline schedule is a fixed project schedule that reflects all formally authorized scope and schedule changes against which project performance is measured. That is a pretty wordy definition, but let's go a little bit deeper. Let's see if we can figure out what goes into a baseline schedule. I'll defer again to the AACE and another definition that comes from them. A scheduled baseline is the approved, time-phased, logically linked, detailed interpretation of the project execution plan. If we dig into that statement, we know that the baseline schedule must be approved by the contractor, the owner, and any other relevant stakeholders. The schedule needs to be time-phased, meaning that the work must be laid out and sequenced in time according to some calendar, hopefully going from the start of the project to the end of the project. Logically, Link plays on that some more. We need to have sequenced work with relationship logic, and we want to make sure that we have lots of detail in there. It may be resource-loaded and include the entire project scope of work. A baseline schedule doesn't need to be resource loaded. It can be both resource and cost loaded. But what's most important is that it includes the entire project scope of work. In Primavera P6, a baseline differs from this definition that we've been looking at. In Primavera P6, a baseline is a special copy or a snapshot of a project schedule. When you create a baseline in Primavera P6, the software takes a snapshot of your schedule at a specific moment in time, and then it stores that snapshot in a place inside the project where you can't edit it. So it's static. Next, as you're progressing your current schedule, you can overlay the baseline snapshot on your project to compare performance to your baseline. A P6 baseline stores not only your project's baseline dates, but it also stores your resourcing and costing approaches. That is, if you did resource and cost load your schedule. With this additional data, you can also compare your current project's resource usage and spending to your baseline plan. In Primavera P6, you can easily evaluate if your project is ahead or behind schedule with the use of a baseline. There's a lot of flexibility with P6 baselines, and there's lots for you to learn. So let's dive in and get going. I'll see you in the next lesson.